An update tonight on a KCCI investigate story that we told you about in December. Lawmakers are considering a bill that ensures a photo is included for everybody listed on the state's missing persons database. KCCI chief investigative reporter James Stratton is here tonight with how it passed. This could lead to more missing Iowans being found. And Steve and Stacy, right now around 400 people are missing across the state of Iowa, but only 74 of them as of right now have photos on the state's database. While reporting on that story back in December, we asked why that number was low and why the state can't use its own driver's license photos. If a bill that was introduced yesterday in the House passes, that may actually happen. House Study Bill 597 allows police agency to share a driver's license photo in missing persons cases. Right now, driver's license photos are owned by the Iowa DOT and not the Department of Public Safety. So DOT can share that photo with police, but the state database can only share it if the police agency requests it. The bill would allow DPS or any police or juvenile justice agency to share driver's license photos with the public of those who are missing. It also allows them to share a photo of a person they believed is involved with a missing emancipated minor. After we started asking why driver's license photos can't be used, Representative Jared Klein, a Republican from Kyoto and the chair of the House Public Safety Committee, said they were looking into changing that law. The bill was introduced yesterday in the House. It passed the subcommittee, then the Public Safety Committee unanimously. It now heads to the full House floor for debate. If passed, every person on the state's missing persons database will have a photo. Stacy, James, thank you.